Hi, I'm Dave from Echo Zulu Cruising. I want to go on a little tour of our NC1095 from Juneau, uh, sweetest thing. We're going to go uh, from stem to stern on, uh, on our boat, how we use her and some of the setup on board. Uh, look forward to sharing her with you and look forward to your comments and questions afterwards. Thank you. Well, we use this boat both as our family during day trips as well as overnights, uh, and, and it's got great storage and versatility. It's one of the things that really attracted us uh, about the Juno you know, NC 1095. First, we have this storage above. Uh, on this side, this is where we keep our food. Uh, we use these plastic containers just to keep everything organized, uh, keep our snacks uh, in, in an easy, easy place. And then we have our dishes uh, above here. We've got them tied in, so we've added some bungee, which wasn't standard, but added that in. And then again, we have a couple of these bins uh, that we had over there. We bought those at Target. They're perfect because they fit in both the overhead bins. And then we have this great uh, both prep station as well as cooking station. The sweetest things equipped with the propane uh, stove. We went with that so we don't need to use the generator when we're uh, offshore and wanted to cook. Uh, and then got the stainless steel sink the water is hot the hot water heater uh, stays hot for a couple hours even after the generator has been off uh, and is really hot so always be conscious of that but this is a really great station for cooking for two and four people you can cook a good meal on this boat we'll go through some of the meals that that uh, Alicia and I have when we're out uh, but we went with the propane because we wanted to be able to cook without having to turn the generator on so this is great prep station but down below we also have microwave which provides you know when the generator's on or we're on, on uh, uh, at the dock we're able to use that for cooking and we also use it for storage uh, for some of the items so you got to make sure you pull that out before you microwave but it gives another storage spot beneath the sink we have trash that pulls out trash and uh, recycling and there's also a good amount of storage it goes about uh, eight uh, about 24 inches back so there's good storage underneath around uh, the trash Below the microwave, there's more storage. We'll go through some of the, 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 the kitchen equipment that we have, but really good storage below here. The first of our two fridges, this one here. It's got a small ice box and freezer, but with, with two freezer fridges and, and uh, two small freezers, we're able to have ice uh, and, and um, good food storage. And then a nice drawer that really fits all of our utensils all in one place. It's our junk drawer in front and food prep and everything uh, behind. But it's a really good amount of storage on board, uh, which is one of the things that really attracted us uh, to it. It's very usable and well laid out. Uh, one other place where we have some storage is, I, I guess it's standard on the Genos. Um, one, we have our fire extinguisher mounted here with, this, with the sign we placed. This can fit uh, wine bottles, frankly, not perfectly. They slide around, so we have sleeves for them. Um, but we keep, we keep uh, some storage up here for those important things uh, like wine so that we have always a spare when it's not in the fridge. So again, we have the storage down here, but also a little bit more of a storage space here. We use this for bags, but down here you can fit uh, bottles um, and other uh, dry goods uh, for a longer trip. But there's definitely a good amount of storage on this. We looked uh, at the 895 and the Antares 9, and the real big difference between those in both the Antares 11 and the Juno 1095 is how much more storage you got. So that was really for us the deciding point, just really open, good prep space and a lot of storage. Again, this is the sweetest thing. We do love the layout of this boat uh, in the interior. Let's talk a little bit about more how we can use the salon uh, and the space up here. This is a really good uh, seating area. It's, it's comfortable for four, so it's not just squeezed in, but this is really comfortable for four. It's a, it's a good place uh, to sit, eat, talk, I do work here uh, during the day. Another really nice thing about uh, this boat overall is just the thought that goes into the multiple uses of the space. So on this, we've got obviously dining area, but we're able to, when we're underway, 
move down this table and this seat flips forward. So there's a great forward sitting view when we're, when we're underway. And this is comfortable for to two people. We've got the window right by it, so there's great airflow. But it's one of the great uh, parts of the design of the 1095 is you have these versatile spaces uh, that are easy to use, easy uh, to move, uh, and make the space really usable, whether it's day boating uh, or uh, for an overnight trip. To, to change the position uh, to the, the forward bench, you slide in a ledge on under the table and drop this, and then it just pulls forward. So now you have this great seating space here, um, and you still have usable, uh, a usable table, um, but you also have the forward uh, looking view. And this way, when you're underway, everyone's looking forward, you can have conversations with the crew, you can be doing work. So it's really, it's a really versatile and useful uh, layout. But there's, frankly, our favorite layout uh, of the cockpit when my wife and I are on uh, alone is uh, this laid out as a day bed. You take our bar, place it here, release, and then slide this down. You got to lock in place. We've learned to use the, a, a piece of non-stick. We've started pushing, uh, yeah, putting this, this on. This is just a roll of the, the foam that we got from Lowe's, but it helps the cushion stay on without sliding. I need to go get the push, cushions from down below. Put these cushions on here. And this is really one of our favorite configurations when it's just the two of us on board because you can lay out, you have a great view, you can read, uh, but it's a really comfortable space. And uh, if we're not using the table or we have the table out on, on the set up on the cockpit, this just makes us a really versatile and comfortable place to read and relax during the day with all the light uh, that we can get through and either the cross ventilation from the window or running the AC if it's too hot or the heat if it's too cold. Now, obviously the heartbeat uh, of the boat is um, uh, in our steering station. Very comfortable, adjustable seat that's a dual size. I'm five foot 11, so you can see I have a little bit of space uh, above me. Uh, seating is very clear when we're underway. You have an uh, unobstructed view. We've got the Garmin jar, uh, chart plotter. Uh, we have the bow thruster. Never had a bow thruster before this boat. I, I've loved the bow thruster with a uh, dual engine that makes it so easy to dock and, and maneuver in tight spaces. Uh, the engine and of course the all important radio. Um, so this is really, isn't really about the electronics, more about the use of the space, but really like the steering station, how it's laid out. It's very in in intuitive. And we've got this great side door, which makes it easy to dock uh, on your own. It makes great airflow uh, when you wanna have air throw through the airflow through the cabin. And it makes it so when, when we're docking, we're able to communicate hand line and if I'm doing it solo, can come in and out here. It's really a nicely designed boat, really easy to operate because of, of the uh, steering station. We, we bought the boat because of the space, but it's actually easier to use own maneuver than I thought it would be uh, when we first purchased the boat. Another great part about this boat, lots of entertaining space, cooking space, lounging space, both in the cabin and outside, but we'll, we'll talk more about. But down below we have three cabins. One of them's pretty small, the other two are really functional for, for, for adults. So let's go up to the main cabin uh, up in the bow. So we have great space, um, there's good light. The, the bed is a width of a queen bed and the length of a queen bed. Because of the, of the shape, it's, it's not quite uh, a queen bed. We'll talk a little bit about kind of how we've handled that and what we've done with, with the mattresses. You'll see there's hooks uh, inside. We've th these are three hooks that we, we got these at Lowe's. They're bathroom hooks, but, but we put them in because there's no um, hanging storage really anywhere in the boat. So we've added a lot of hooks for towels and shirts. There's great storage for clothing, both uh, on the starboard and the port side. One thing that we didn't realize until we bought the boat is that the starboard um, uh, cabinets are about 10 inches deeper than the port side cabinets. So there, there's cabinets on both sides, but because of the offset of um, how the cabin's laid out, there's more space uh, underneath uh, on the starboard side. We can see we have our AC down here. There's three AC units on the boat, one for the main cabin, one for the salon, and then one for the other uh, two cabins. 
additional storage down below here. This is where we keep our manuals. So it's a, it's a narrow, shallow spot, but there's good storage uh, underneath here. Above, we also have the storage, again, the target boxes uh, that are really great. They slide right underneath. They're the one quart um, target or five quart target boxes that fit right under there. Keep our charts up here. And finally, we keep our life jackets underneath the bed. There's storage here. This is not very organized. We can organize this and use this better. But the great thing about the boat is there's so much space. So we're able to um, use some of the, the space poorly and still get away with it. So it's, a, it's really nice to have all the space and, and all the storage in the main cabin. Very comfortable uh, to sleep and having the AC in each room allows you to have temperature control. Um, one of the things that we added on and really made a difference, made, made the boat a lot more comfortable. It's this four inch foam pad. We got it from Amazon and we, we just pulled out the, uh, the, the bedding that's uh, the pads that are on the boat, took them to our house and cut this with scissors. I ended up cutting them with scissors. I tried a small saw and it didn't work, but just sharp scissors, uh, cutting out the outline and, and used the stencil of the uh, cushions to do it. But um, for, for, it ends up because of the shape, we use a king flat as the bottom, uh, rather than some, you know, some people use um, a queen and try and use the clips to fit it. I tried that and it didn't work. So what I did is got a king flat so you can tuck it in at the top and the bottom. And it's a different color so we know which one's the king and which one's the queen. So this is a queen cutout to make it fit in here. In the second cabin, it's a standard full. It didn't have to be cut at all to be put in that bed. It makes a huge difference. Foam mattress is really comfortable. I'll send a link to what we got. It's what we purchased on Amazon and we could cut it. We're not sponsored by them or anything. It's just what's worked for us and was a really uh, useful find. So let's go to the, the second cabin. Come on in here. Right, what's one of the nice things, all three of the cabins you can stand in if you're under about 6'2". So I'm able to stand. Uh, we don't have a shade up over this, so there's light in, but there, there can be light. There, there's a little spot to, to sit. Um, storage just inside. It's kind of two layers, so there's some storage in here. And then the bed is it's a it's a it's a full size, so this is standard sheets um, that we've used on this, um, and and you can slide in. And there's good headroom above when you're sleeping here. This is a really comfortable cabin. It's actually more comfortable uh, than we thought it'd be when we first got the boat. We'll talk about the pads that we added in. Um, in here, the, there's a lot of light that comes from the breakers, the house breaker the AC breaker, and then from the uh, AC unit that's controlled in here. If the generator's on, there's a light there. So we need to do something to block this light because when you sleep in this cabin, you gotta put a, a pillow up to block all the light from all the blue lights. We haven't figured out a solution or addressed a solution for that, but that's on the list. All right, so again, the third cabin, it's smaller. We keep our pillows in it. We'll show you what that looks like with without them. But this cabin also has uh, our second fridge, which gives, again, a great amount of storage, um, as well as an, one of the bigger storage uh, spots on, underneath um, here. And behind the door, it's where we've hung uh, our broom so it's easy to sweep and it stays out of the way. Uh, we'll probably need to add another um, hook for hanging a towel so that every room has them. But again, this is much more used for storage rather than sleeping. We've never had anyone sleep in this cabin. Uh, so uh, it is imperative though that you keep it open because that's how you get to the through hole for the AC as well as the hot water heater. So when we're checking going underway, we actually pull out the uh, pillows and everything to get underway. Uh, here's the marine head. One of the things that attracted to us also about the 1095 was having the separate shower so that you can shower without it being a, a wet head. So there's a separate shower and toilet. We've got you know, plenty of space here. There's storage uh, underneath. Uh, we have a freshwater tank for the for the marine uh, toilet, so it's not a, it's one less through hull fitting, which is really one of the things I try and avoid is anything going through the hull of the boat. Um, it's just a standard trash can from Target that fits in behind. We got a small toilet cleaner that that uh, sticks to the side uh, to really keep this flushed up. One design feature that I find horrible is this black switch macerator for the uh, overboard discharge is uh, right next to. Uh, where you flush the toilet, we've got tape on it. We have the through hole uh, fitting or the through hole valve shut. One of our 
goals is to uh, do a project to move that switch so it's not right next to the toilet because it's just bad feng shui and design. So again, height, I'm, I'm 5'11", so there's space inside the shower. You're able to bring this up, take your shower, plenty of space. We added this um, uh, for shampoo and conditioner. In hindsight, it wasn't necessary. It's nice, we use it, but it, was, it ends up being totally unnecessary. It has stayed up, though, uh, underway for uh, over six months now, so at least it's got good adhesive. Uh, got that, it's, it's Simple Human, got that on Amazon, but it just ended up working. And um, you, we've added hooks as well. There's, there's one behind the door, and there's, there's hooks on, along the wall um, for, for hanging towels. All right, a couple other um, uh, points. We have our through hull uh, fitting for the holding tank here. It's zip tied shut, and uh, we also have our, one of our two uh, bilge pumps. So there's this one forward, there's one aft uh, in the lazarette. Down here is the pump uh, for the holding tank, some of the electronics for that. So this section, uh, you can check when we go underway, we check to see if there's any water, which uh, there hasn't been any. Um, <clears throat> again, it's one of the two uh, uh, bilge pumps on board. And then forward here, we have water for our washers. So that's where uh, the washer fill is. So we can have clean water um, for our, our wipers. This is really when we're out, uh, where our family and friends spend some of the most time on board. It's a really versatile space. They make it versatile with both uh, how the bench can move back, they'll show that. Uh, but just the seating arrangement uh, in its base uh, layout, really comfortable. Uh, can have four to six people back here very comfortably hanging out, e even without uh, being uh, inside. Uh, I'm going to show you down below in the lazarette and some of the generator and how we have that set up and then we'll show kind of how these pieces uh, in the back can can move around. So this is uh, the lazarette. We have our batteries, our fuel shutoffs, and our generator down below here, through hull fitting through the generators. So we have the two through hull fittings for the exhaust and the intake um, for, for the generator. Our uh, Panda generator right here, uh, it, it has a two gallon uh, diesel tank uh, that can run uh, uh, I've heard 18 hours. The most we've run it is uh, eight hours with the AC on and, and had plenty of fuel left. Um, so that's the generator if we need it. Uh, we also have solar panels on Sweetest Thing. We'll point those out. So that allows us to keep charged and keep our lights and fridges running even without the generator. Uh, but there's good storage space down here. Your batteries are underneath. We have separate batteries uh, over here for the generator to, to start them as well as the house batteries and engine batteries that are all separate. Um, I didn't point it out going in the salon, but if you back up, you can see here, the electric con control with uh, the house batteries, starboard and port engines, uh, that's, all, that's all right here, easy to, to access uh, and turn them on and off. So when we go out and have the generators on, you make sure that it's running, or the, the, before you're running, you make sure that you have the through hole fittings open uh, and the batteries on. Uh, and, and, and you're good to go. So a couple spots of storage uh, out in the co cockpit. We have this one, um, it has the latch to open the lazarette. So we, we keep a uh, cushion in here. Um, we have storage down below here. We keep some of our spare lines. And then underneath, we have some more storage under the bench. Uh, particularly if we're, if we're a long way for a weekend, we put our power cords and water hoses uh, down below here. Well, with a, a pretty quick uh, release of the two latches, you can slide this cockpit uh, bench back and it locks in place on each side. And when you do this, you have a lot more space back here for the table. The arrangements, I think a lot, oh, it's a lot more versatile and then you have this open space. You have this great seating. We have cushions that we can put in the back right here um, so that it's all, all benched off and very comfortable. So the bench can fit this way with a lot of space on one side to sit two. You can spin around. You can spin around, fit more. Again, really nice things about this is the versatility being able to move this. So we go down into the third stateroom. It's really the pillow house. And we slide this right in here and right in here. 
So it's just held in place. And put this, and then we have a great sun pad. This is a great place to hang out, read, uh, relax. So again, the versatility of this boat, great inside space and really great relaxing outdoor space is part of what we've loved about the NC 1095 uh, by Genoa. It's just a, a great boat, uh, comfortable. We've had a lot of fun on her. Um, we're gonna go take a look up at the bow. Up here, uh, we have the anchor windlass. There's a control, uh, there's a switch from uh, the control station, the steering station, um, as well as up here. When we pull this out of the way, we latch it. There's a design on this that's not great. I had this get sucked through uh, on the chain on this not long ago. I'm looking to uh, secure it to the side. I haven't done that yet, but sucked it through, ate the chain, uh, ate the wire, but was still able to splice it together to keep it working. Uh, my next project is to secure it to the side so it's uh, away from uh, the anchor when it's uh, getting pulled back in. But you have the control up uh, here as well as at the steering station. So uh, you can see we have uh, the Garmin radar. Uh, we also have 350 watt uh, flexible solar panels. Those solar panels are great. They allow us to keep uh, power for two fridges, our house batteries and lights uh, without running the generator. Uh, the longest we've gone uh, without power generator is 12 days uh, when it's been around hurricanes and I forgot to turn the power back on. But the fridges stayed cold, uh, the lights stayed working, house batteries stayed up. So uh, that was with clouds and everything, it's still able to keep those batteries charged. So they've been a great investment. Again, part of the goal, how can we go offshore? How can we spend time with the generator off and have the amenities we want, such as the fridge uh, running? The powerhouse, the twin Yamaha 300 horsepower, um, uh, outboards, really clean uh, running, uh, really great torque, get out of the water uh, quickly. The fuel uh, fills are at the stern. stern. Uh, diesel is down below here for the, for the uh, generator. It's a two gallon tank. The uh, gasoline is uh, 212 gallons uh, on, uh, of gasoline. There's one tank port, one tank starboard. And then uh, the, the dock um, uh, power, there's uh, two 30 uh, amp. One is for the house batteries, one is for the air conditioning. Um, so those are, the, those are on separate units. But the, the versatility of the cockpit comes from being able to move this bench uh, fore and aft. When it's moved up, there's plenty of space to, to work around the engines. When it's moved back, uh, there's a lot more space in the cockpit. This is the steering station. We've got the, the seats up right now, which normally if you're underway, we'd, we'd have them down. Uh, really easy to run and drive this boat. We've got twin uh, 300 uh, Yamahas uh, that are uh, really smooth uh, running. We've also got a bow thruster, which makes docking this boat fantastic. It's a really nice boat uh, to, to dock. With the Lenko uh, trim tabs, the boat runs really even. Um, I normally have to do a little bit down uh, on the port uh, uh, when tanks are full or we have several people on just because of how people are sitting. Uh, but runs really smooth, just small taps to stay trim. Uh, on the electronics, uh, our radar is the Phantom 18. Uh, our GPS maps are uh, 8412, uh, 12-inch uh, screen unit. And the VHF is the uh, 215 AIS. What's nice about this is, again, this is being able to take, take our position. Everything's really um, accessible. We've got the cup holders, uh, we have uh, our charge uh, for, for devices, and, and we have our center mounted uh, compass. So it's easy to, to run the boat from this one spot. This is the only place uh, where we have the 12 volt uh, plug in, which we have this unit here. This is another one of those really important not running the generator things. Um, we have this so that we can make our coffee with an electronic coffee maker without turning on the generator and, and uh, with, the, with the, uh, 120, so we can plug it into that. It could, it could have other uses, but really it's for uh, morning coffee with no generator. Uh, great steering station, great layout. Again, a, a lot of thought went into to the Juno, uh, uh, the NC1095. It's very thoughtful in, in terms of the layout, in terms of the drainage, in terms of functionality and usability. The, um, there are some trade-offs. You're getting something that's light. You're getting things where um, you know, it was getting the maximum kind of options for the for the lowest possible cost so there's some things that are not as durable as they could be i break them and i've learned to be conscious of that and learn to fix them 
uh, but we really love the boat because of the usability and the functionality uh, and the space uh, that we get. Well, thanks for joining me on Tour of the Sweetest Thing with uh, Echo Zulu Cruising. We're here to make cruising e easy, kind of this journey of getting out, using your boat, having fun with it. It's, we're trying to show what we do, learn from our mistakes, learn from what other people are doing. Um, thanks for joining us. Look forward to hearing your questions and also tips, recommendations you may have either for other videos or how to solve some of the problems that we face uh, on board Sweetest Thing. Uh, until then, stay safe, have fun, and be happy.